Hello, welcome to Southampton's Writer's Circle. Um, today I'll be interviewing author Jeff Parks and be talking about his book Whale Soup. Hello, guys. So your title, Whale Soup, it's, uh, it seemed to have a very strange title when I first heard it. Um, not one I'd normally kind of see on a title of book. So um, what was your reason for using such a title? Well, the first thing you have to know is this is not a cookery book. A couple of years ago, I was, I was lucky enough to go around the world and I ended up in Hawaii whale watching more than once. This was in February when anything between 2,000 and 10,000 humpback whales make the journey from Alaska to Hawaii in the mating season. And whale soup is the expression used by the tourist guides on the boats to describe water that is busy with whales. Well, it makes sense, doesn't it? Because it looks exactly like that when you're, when you're making a soup, right. aren't you? Yeah, that's, that's right. fantastic. Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, so, is it mainly about whales? No, it isn't. Uh, less than 10% of the book is about whales. It's really about people whose lives are touched by what their whales, and it's about their dreams and their passions and their problems. But whales is the common thread that runs right through the book. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, it's an interesting subject, isn't it? So, whereabouts is the book set? Well, the first half is in, in Hawaii and San Francisco, and then in the second half, the action shifts largely to England, and in particular, Cambridge, London, and Cornwall. Well, that's a fantastic area, different set of areas. You can yeah, kind of travel range. around the world it's, while you're eating. It's quite a range, yeah. Yeah, that's fantastic. It's because, uh, you know, if you're kind of travelling around the world with you, by the sounds of it. That's very good. Um, so what's the story mainly about, the, the thread of the story? Well, it's about a young San Franciscan called Eddie, who becomes obsessed with whales from an early age. All he really wants to do is to become a marine biologist, specialising in marine mammals, but he keeps getting distracted. So he goes off on all sorts of adventures with his boyhood friends, and then he crosses paths with a career criminal, and he has to deal with that. And then later, as a student, he has a curious relationship with his professor. The professor's friendly enough, but he has a murky past, and that leads to all sorts of complications. And then there's romance, which beckons from both sides of the Atlantic. How's he going to solve that one? Oh, that was fantastic. There's a lot, lot going on. That's, 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 yeah. That's what a mark of a good book, really. What would you say the genre of the book is? It's a very difficult question. It's certainly a suspense novel, and I suppose you'd say it's a cross between a thriller and an adventure story, but it's also a coming-of-age novel. And there are large elements of detective novel as well, and then you've got the wildlife element, so I suppose it's a, a real mixture of genres. So I expect you're kind of growing up with, your, with the character as well, you start to see them as yeah, mature. Yeah, very much so, yes. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic, that's very good. Um, so what kind of readers do you think would be the type of people who would enjoy reading this book? Well, it's not a book for children. So I would say 16, 17, 18 upwards, because most of the themes are quite adult. I think it probably appeals to women and men equally. And it'll probably play on both sides of the Atlantic, because a lot of the book is written in American English. And I think I'm actually beginning to get a few fans even in Australia and New Zealand, so quite a wide range. That's fantastic. All around the world, then. Yeah. We hope so. Well, I'd just like to say I'd like to conclude the interview. I know it's short, but um, we, are, we are short on time. And I'd like to, uh, to say that uh, the book is available. Where can you find a book from? It's well, it's on Kindle. Yep. Uh, or you can write to the publisher, Englang Books, if you prefer the paperback. Okay, that's fantastic. So this has been Southampton's Writer's Circle. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to hear more interviews from more authors. It's a new channel and we expect to have new things soon. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much, Steve. Thank you very much, Jeff.